Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we back again with another video. Ringo Motor Vlog. Um, I'm pretty much opening the uh, the um, case of the scooter, just so you can see a few things. Um, this is, I guess, the wiring for the lighting of the scooter in terms of the uh, RGB lighting. And uh, this is how it is with the shocks. But uh, what's interesting about this, you know, we'll get to all of this wiring later on because, you know, none of this type of stuff is uh, waterproof. I'm just letting you know right now. Um, if you are riding this scooter and you get caught in the rain, you're gonna have problems. Because as you can see, this is the bottom part of the scooter here. So water or whatever the case is, uh, can get into this area um, because when this cover is pretty much on it, this area here is exposed. So all of these wires that are here, you know, they're not waterproof. They don't have no protection, protection over it. There's no, uh, you know, cabling, you know, like th there's ways in which WePad can do their thing that can make uh, these situations better for the, um, the buyer. But now what's, what's even more interesting is you already done know the story about the situation with the, with the scooter in terms of um, the scooter being, it, it was delivered, damaged in terms of the rear tail light is damaged. So pretty much I have to wait until we pad ship out those parts and to add insult to injury now i would have to probably disconnect this which mean i have to become a surgeon and i have to now unloose everything uh you know run the wires loose everything off run this through here through these cables down here i gotta pull all of this stuff out uh, you know, you have to get into here. You you have to do all these different things in order to get that light right there in the back of the scooter fixed. But now, this is even more interesting. Check out the inside of the scooter. Check out the inside of the scooter, fam. This is the inside of the WePad Sonic X. It's a total mess in here. I mean, just check this out, fam. You know, literally... A total mess. Everything is all over the place. Those are the controllers right there. Um, you know, everything is all over the place. There's zero instructions in terms of connectivity. Um, I mean, eventually I'm going to figure everything out. But my point is the wires are just all over the place. I mean, everything is scrambled. You know, nothing labeled. Uh, it's just a total mess. And... Um, I was told by the uh, company that I would have to do some modification. Let me see if I can do this for you real quick. And apologize for the camera shaking. I'm doing everything by hand. But uh, there appears to be some sort of issue. And I want to raise that to the public just in case you have your Sonic and this happens to you. Uh, Based on what I'm hearing from from WePad, uh, people controllers are being fried. This is what I'm hearing, and I'm here to report all the news. So they sent me this, and basically uh, a bunch of washers and uh, different things that I would have to install on the um, controller and the front of the scooter by the fork. I guess somewhere by the front of the scooter by the fork, I have to change something out and put these in. These washers are supposed to go on the controller inside right here. In other words, these wash, these uh, bolts, I gotta take those out of the scooter and you have to drill through this in order to make those holes larger to fit these washers because there's some sort of electrical issue where it's causing these controllers to fry that's right so it's just a lot of nonsense a lot of work uh i don't even think i'm going to be able to use the scooter anytime soon because i'm busy as it is with social media and various other things i just don't got the type of time 
you know what I mean, like that. I mean, if, eventually I'm going to get everything running, hopefully, but it's it's just sad because when you buy these scooters, you, you're, you're buying them to pretty much get on out there and, and start rolling and doing what you need to do. And it's like, rather than you getting to work and having fun with the scooter, you're, you're basically stuck in the house with the scooter and having to work and, and put wires together. I mean, just look at how this whole inside is a mess and there's no instructions on what to do, how to do it, how to fix it. There's nothing in there. You know what I mean? So it's all up to you to pretty much put these things together. Now, if you purchase the scooter from a dealer or someone that, I guess, um, sells we pet scooters, then it's their responsibility to put the scooter t together for you. So under those circumstances, when you come into the shop to buy the scooter, of course, the scooter is going to be put together. You could just roll out, ride, have fun, do your thing. But if you're like me, who bought it direct and it's shipped to your house, then now the responsibility of putting it together is pretty much on you. So again, this is the inside. These are the controllers on the side. So I guess because it's touching the metal, there's some sort of issue with it, right? But uh, these are the controllers and whatnot. And uh, it, the wiring is just crazy in here, man. It's just crazy in here. So again, this is just a rundown of the inside of the Wii Pet Sonic X. And uh, you know, you gotta fit the battery in here. So everything is gonna be pretty tightly in this box. You know what I'm saying? Pretty, pretty tightly in this box. And it's just, it's just really crazy, man. It, it's just, man, I'm telling you, if, if we pet would step their game up in terms of how they ship these items, how they get their products to customers, they would be the king of the hill in the scooter game. Because I'm not going to lie, it's a beautiful scooter. It's a beast. It's a monster scooter. The scooter, it's literally next to my other scooters here. And this scooter is way larger than all of these scooters that I have here. And to be honest, a lot of people that might be interested in the uh, the Sonic, the larger Sonic, um, that's probably overkill. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you want to get it, hey, cool. You know what I mean? More power to you. Just know that it's not for no apartment buildings. It's for a house. You have to have a garage in order to have uh, the the larger Wii Pet Sonic. That, that's the only way you'll be able to uh, have that particular scooter and um, enjoy it because you can't lift a 400 pound scooter. This scooter here is heavy as it is. You know what I mean? I'm just letting you know straight up and down. This scooter without the batteries alone weighs a hundred and something pounds. You, you're not going to be able to pick this scooter up and just, you know, walk up a flight of stairs. It's just not going to happen. Right. So, hey. That's about it for right now. Um, like I said, I got to do the surgery with these pieces right here. I got to do the surgery and um, install those things. If you have a Wii Pet Sonic and you experience your controller frying out, then most likely Wii Pet is going to have to send you a new controller. But for me, they sent me these things as a fix to prevent the controller from frying out. So, uh, Hey, we need more people that actually experience these things to talk about it. A lot of times in the scooter community, everybody just want to show off. They want to show off. Hey, I got the new scooter. I got this. I got that bragging rights and all this other stuff. You know, if, if I want to brag, I can brag right now. You know, like I was the first person in New York City to actually order this scooter. The first in New York City. Besides anybody else that may have gotten the Sonic X, I was the first. All right. So enough of the bragging rights. Right. If you look at the track record, if you look at the dates and the times, I was the first person in New York to pretty much get the Sonic X. But now, what is that? What is that going to do for anybody? It's not going to do anything for anybody. The bragging rights is a waste of time. What I'm trying to focus on here is the community so that we can be educated with our purchases so that we can enjoy the, the lifestyle of using e-scooters. And unfortunately, a lot of you that may have purchased Sonic X you don't tell people about the stories that you uh been through or any sort of um experiences you have you don't tell nobody 
Like, I mean, think about this. You, you have to begin to talk to people. I mean, if you look, none of this is waterproof. You see that? None of that is waterproof. So now that's the bottom there. You can see my hand right there. So water can get into all of these different departments. Now, what I'm going to do, being that I know how to use these machines and I know how to secure cables, is I'm going to try my best to make the cables not necessarily waterproof, but a little more water resistant so that if water was to get anywhere, it won't get into any of the terminals that could cause any more problems. You know what I'm saying? And another thing that I'm going to do is uh, in the inside of the scooter here, I'm going to clean this mess up. Like I'm going to literally clean this mess up. I'm going to buy various uh, cable wrap and take my time and actually wrap all of these cables so that you know what is what. I mean, everything is all over the place. And I think that, you know, we pet literally have to do a better job when it comes to uh, these packagings and, and, and having instructions, you know, in the, in a scooter, like a simple paper that says, okay, do this step by step. This is where you connect. For example, uh, if you connect in the battery, you might connect the battery and get electrocuted. You might connect the battery the wrong way and destroy your, 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 your controller. There's so many different things that can go wrong just by putting these things together. Yes, if you went to a dealer or a scooter shop, they may have a little more knowledge on putting these things together. But now the average person, they may not have that ability. You understand? I'm pretty sure I can put, set all of this stuff up and put it together. But it's time consuming. You have to understand. It's time consuming and it's just frustrating because not only do I have to put all of this stuff together, but I also have to now install a rear tail light. I have to install a, a new key ignition and I have to install a new brake because I don't know if I told you that in the last video, but even one of the brakes have a problem. One of the brakes, that's right. One of the brakes also have a problem where I believe the part where the oil is supposed to go uh, it was off. So that mean no oil is in one side of the brakes. So it's just a bunch of problems, man. It's, it's, it's like I said, uh, the Weeped Sonic X is, a, a very beautiful looking scooter. It's a nice looking scooter. I'm pretty sure it has power. I'm pretty sure it has all these great things, but at the end of the day, it's just, uh, some headaches that you're going to deal with. And I want to make sure that the community is edified and have the knowledge of what's going on. Another thing is the uh, the hub motors, right? The the motors. A lot of you that have Dualtron scooters, you pretty much are familiar with uh, motors that separate. You're pretty much familiar with that. Um, that right there, I don't believe these motors separate or the rims can separate, which means these are going to be a pain in the ASS to service if you had to remove a tire or if you had to, um, you know, you had a flat. I mean, these are tubeless tires. So you would be able to repair a tubeless tire with uh, tubeless kits. You can do that. But now if you had to remove this tire, it is going to be a pain to do. I'm just letting you know that right now. Why? Because you would have to take the wheel completely, the, the, the whole wheel. You would have to take this off of the scooter. Now, to be honest with you, if you had to do that, um, the cable that's for the scooter is very short. So now getting this off is going to take a lot of work, which means you're going to have to put this thing on something to hold this because now you got to go get crowbars and different things to get this tire off. It's a pain. I'm telling you right now. I mean, for my Dualtron Thunder, which is over here, right? This particular scooter has rims that can separate on my Dualtron Thunder. It's dirty right now. Who cares? But these particular rims can separate. You know what I mean? I, I pretty much purchased these particular rims because they can separate. And it, and it takes away the pain of having to use these crowbars and stuff in order to get the tire off. And I like the sound of the off-road tires on the Dualtron Thunder, but um, it's easy to change your tires with this. For some reason, Weeped 
they had the type of rims that separate, but something was wrong with their motors. And now they gave us this. Now, I don't know the performance of these. I don't know the long-term effects, if, if they are good, because I haven't tested scooter yet. But to me, that's a downside of the scooter. So if you are in the market for the WePad Sonic X, understand that these, these motors and these rims, uh, I don't believe that they separate. I asked WePad via WhatsApp. They did not respond and tell me anything. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I asked them, you know, politely, do these rims separate? Is it a pain? I got no response. Again, that's bad customer service. When you have customers, right, that ask you about products, ask you about different issues, you have to respond to your customers. It's very important that you do that. If you don't do that, you're not showing that customer any respect for the time and the money that they invested in the in your product. And it can be detrimental to your, com your company as a whole. So again, ladies and gentlemen, um, it is what it is, man. Uh, you know, I like the fact that these things, this particular scooter can separate and stuff like that. It's cool. But um, there's a lot of issues in terms of connectivity. Uh, you know, with this wire in here, it's just, I mean, think about this. Think think about how this cable is down here, right? Now, now what if you're riding and, you know, these cables are here, let's just say, and it kind of go into the suspension. Like it just goes into it and it just crushes the wire. I mean, I mean, just look at this. Look at how thin those cables are, right? You see how thin those cables are? What if, what if those cables get loose and one of the terminals start to touch different parts of the scooter you know that that's an electrical issue you see this is what i mean like they have to take into consideration of protecting like for example if you look right there you probably can't see it but if you look at the um the cable here right notice how it's resting on that sharp edge right there now think about this thing moving back and forth like this back and forth back and forth back and forth Eventually, it cuts into the cable, and then you're going to have a short circuit. Then you're going to have an issue. These are just a few of the things that I'm trying to raise questions with. So hopefully, the video gave you some insight. Again, this is the inside of the WePad Sonic X. Um, you know, I got to clean all of this stuff up and um, get the battery in there and sort everything out. And um, I got to figure out where all of these things go. There's no videos from WePad given any instructions. There's no how-to videos, no tutorials. I asked WePad for a video. They never delivered. And, it, you know, it's just a bunch of headaches, man. It's like, it's sad when a company has a great product and the customer service is just not there. You know what I mean? They really need to have people that are hired that are actually... Uh, dealing with the U.S. market, especially because I know there's a language barrier there in Korea, South Korea, and um, we're in the United States. So it, there's a language barrier, uh, you know, various other international things. But um, when, when you have stuff like this, there has to be a way to communicate with the buyers. But all in all, um, it's a beautiful scooter and um, it is what it is, man. We're going to get everything sorted it's not the end of the world, but it's a life lesson. And um, like I said, um, the choice is yours. You know, you can purchase one of these scooters if you want. Like I said, it's a it's a great looking scooter. I'm pretty sure it's way high in performance. But at the end of the day, the company is growing and they have a lot of issues that they got to work out in terms of shipment, in terms of uh, having instructions for the buyers so that they can put the product together. I mean, think about this. I mean, they're just assuming that you know what you're doing. And I think that that's wrong. They got to have a manual in the scooter. There is no manual. There is no instructions. There is no video tutorials online. They post videos every day with scooters, but they don't post no videos on how to do this and how to do that and how to put your battery in and how to connect the wires and how to set up your Sonic or your Sonic X after you get it 
delivered. It's like they don't do that. And it's and it's to me it's bad. It's it's bad for business. It's not cool. And you know, it is what it is, man. But uh we're gonna get up on out of here, man, and do what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Um, this is Ringo Motor Vlog coming at you with another one. That's my little stand that I made. Um, you know what I'm saying? I recommend if you have a Sonic and you want to work on it, um, you could purchase one of these off of Amazon, Amazon.com. And um, what I did with mine is the original box that the Sonic X came in is some thick material. So what I did is I cut a piece to put on top of the dolly. And uh, I also got to put some under here to level out the weight. And it puts it at a perfect level for you to work on the scooter. I don't recommend you putting it on this stand right here. That's another stand that I have right here that I use for, you know, doing my work on the scooters. But for the Wii Pad, I recommend you have this. Because with this, you're able to um, work at a lower level because of the amount of weight. Now you could put it on one of those and you can get the job done, but for convenience sake and on the cheap, I recommend this because you can move the scooter around. You know what I'm saying? This is a heavy scooter, but on the dolly, you can easily move it around. So, hey, it is what it is. Y'all take care. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm out. Peace.